And we do begin in Chardon. The school district has censured a board member after what he considered a lack of enforcement of the dress code. Neil Fisher has the story for us. Chardon School Board member Todd Albright censured by fellow board members Monday night. This comes more than two weeks after Albright, who's been a board member since January of this year, requested the superintendent and principals of the middle school and high school to meet with him to observe dress code violations that he observed. The board says Albright did this without other board members' approval. I think that there is an issue of morality that's being pressed. Um, I think that he doesn't trust the administration. I mean, he doesn't speak for the majority, which is his job. While some parents applauded the board's decision Monday night, others backed Albright's effort. That guy was being a voice for other parents and students who shared the same concerns. He got extremely negative attention, but sometimes that's what it takes to make change. Parents and students met outside of Albright's house Monday after school to protest against the board member's actions, which is just down the street from where he met with the superintendent and principals. They're worried about the girls and what they wear because they're inviting sexual assault, they're inviting rape. We need board members who are going to support all children. In resolution number 2022-19, it states that a majority of the board thinks Albright's actions have been contrary to the Board of Education bylaws, policies, and code of ethics. There are people in this community who aren't just going to go for whatever someone says. There are people in this community who aren't just going to follow another person's beliefs. The school board also strongly recommended Todd Albright attend Ohio School Board Association training that involves the power of being on the board and the ethics and responsibilities of a school board member. Board President Karen Blankenship told me today that this training is not required for new board members. Christy. All right. Thank you so much, Neil. Appreciate it.